We're live. Hey everyone, welcome back to Letters Edged in Black, our Blades in the Dark actual play. Um, we have <laughs> with us tonight Monica, Ray, and Spider. Uh, Jabari and Kitty are uh, still out. Don't worry, eventually we'll have all five of us and it will be a madhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. Someday. Some someday. Um, I'm going to spend a few moments. I'm having some like weird technical difficulties, which is that uh, Twitch isn't letting me see my dashboard. Uh, so I'm just going to have to watch the stream like everyone else. <laughs> and I can't change the the what like this is not character death and loss <laughs> i can't change it because it, it won't show me my dashboard it's very frustrating it is just a pile of shit it, they changed the the way the dashboard works and i can't get to i can't get to the misdirected mark stream manager let me where's rob when we need him i know let me try never a rob when you need him rob where are you you're our only hope oh oh, oh. robert I, I got it Fuck yay me. so now how do i change this thing <clears throat> edit stream info ah uh, yeah all right so What is this, episode five? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Done. All right. Everybody, we're, we're ready to rock. <laughs> OK. Finally. Yeah. Finally. That was not you cool. That, that you was, did it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you very, did it. It was very not cool. I'm so glad that there are only like two people. <laughs> One of them is me. <laughs> One of them is me. Uh, I don't, I'm so glad that, that it's just us right now. I know. This now is labor of now love. people are coming in and they missed all that and it's so Perfect. good. I'm so Perfect. glad. All right. <clears throat> but they didn't miss any of our actual play. Yay. We haven't we haven't gotten around to being gay and doing crimes yet. No, no. we're just just gay. Just gay, no <laughs> crimes yet. Right no crimes. <clears throat> uh so the other thing that we're gonna do yes what are we doing we're not yes doing we're... all right <laughs> so last session oh man so much has happened <laughs> i think you kind of have to recap the two halves i do okay yes. uh so two sessions ago we had jabari kitty and spider so beige twinkle and crow were doing a a scout mission essentially to uh, gather information to eventually uh, try to steal a device that has a ghost inside of it. Um, the, the point of this theft uh, was so that the crew could talk to Lady Anne's ghost. And the, the individual, uh, Lord Pendron, who has Lady Anne's ghost right now, can't talk to her and, and wants to talk to her as well um, and hope that the crew could help him. And so he's paying them to talk to her ghost, uh, but they don't want to share her ghost with them. So they've decided that they're going to pull a switcheroo. So they have a, uh, a, a vial with a ghost, a lady, that uh, Beige has manipulated and kind of scrambled a bunch so that it's... Uh, in essence, resembles Lady Anne if Lady Anne was completely borked as a ghost and held nothing of her original like memories or personality or anything. And the crew is poised to, you know, Indiana Jones that, you know, put the ghost in the thing and pull Lady Anne out and hopefully, you know, fool Lord Pendragon. We don't set off the trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, at the same time, 
that Beige, Crow, and Twinkle were on this scouting mission, Devil Jack and Spit decided that they were going to increase the crew's... Uh, we're going to get more turf. Turf, exactly. And to do that, <clears throat> they decided to go to the uh, one of the Red Sash's drug cook houses and... I don't know that they were intending to set the whole thing on fire, but that's kind of what happened. <laughs> I absolutely did not intend to set anything on fire. It was uh, all an accident. Um, the, the whole the whole building got set on fire. They they killed some people. They killed a lot of people. I killed. I there killed were them all. So many dead. People. Jack was doing his best not to kill anyone. Uh, Jack was Jack was the face while uh, Spit sat around in a crow's nest shooting people. Um, and then eventually they were able to force the, the brass out um, and took over this essentially vice den. And they now have a vice den uh, to help them earn some extra coin during downtime. <laughs> At the end of that session, though, Spit, mm -hmm. who had spent a lot of stress, went to indulge her vice and got wrapped up in it and nobody has seen from or heard from spit since now these two things were happening in parallel so when devil jack comes back and finds beige crow and twinkle essentially getting ready to perform this heist <laughs> uh <laughs> spit, I'm not, spit is spit's not there spit's not with him spit's not there awesome <laughs> Uh, so Ray will be uh, playing a guest character tonight um, instead of playing Spit, and we will introduce that character pretty pretty quickly in the in the course of the game. But she's not going to start with us, so I'll just mess with my background while you guys play yeah. a very serious game. <laughs> <laughs> So you could keep like fading in and out of your background. Yeah. Good. Good. Cool. As Hard. Evie comes running by behind us. <clears throat> yes. Can I just select a color actually? Well, that's ghosty. That's, that's very ghosty. Uh, I like the cathedral. Going back to the cathedral. Yeah. All right. So. So, so, so we are going to start the session with an engagement role for the heist because that was the plan. Yes, uh, and to, uh, to account for the fact that, uh, Jabari and Kitty aren't here, we're going to say that they were essentially they're sending Crow, they're sending Devil Jack with Crow. Crow knows the ins and outs of the place after, <clears throat> uh, after being there. And knows how to handle the device without hurting themselves. And, and Devil Jack is there as muscle in case things go south. Very but, handsome muscle. Very handsome muscle. <laughs> Wait, I'm not spit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody knows Devil Jack is handsome. Yeah, I don't know. It's true. It's, just, it's, just, it's one yeah. of his primary character traits. Yes. Handsome. So handsome. Uh-huh. So, <clears throat> so we're going to start this engagement role. And this is how it's going to be. Um, so we are dealing with a, uh, let's see. It, it, I'm going to say that this thing is not ex particularly bold or risky. Um, so we're not going to need to worry about anything there. Um, the plan's... Oh, yes. Uh, we're doing this as a, de a deception, correct? Yes, and we have the method of deception. And that, the detail, exposes a vulnerability to the target. No. Target is strong. It says no. No. I think you guys are just going to roll one die. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, that's fun. For this engagement roll. All right, well... Well, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. All right. That's. You want me to roll it? Whoever. 
Oh God, I'll do it. You're, you're, you do it. You're, you're lucky. You're lucky. You do it. I'm not. I mean, on one die, my odds. Eh. I mean, we'll see. The odds are mostly in one your in favor. six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Roll engagement. Number of dice. One. Not zero. One. Submit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you jinxed it. You got handsome, <laughs> but not lucky. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're in a de- you start you're in a desperate situation. All right, cool. Let's think of the experience. <laughs> Let's think of the experience. think of the XP. <laughs> okay, so this is what happens. Um, perfect. So you uh, crow led you to the uh, the room where the device is, which is a laboratory in the basement of a kind of a secure class building. Like you need to. You need to have permission to come in and out. Um, and there's a laboratory in the basement that you have access to through Lord Penderin. He essentially gave you carte blanche to come in and out to try to get access to Lady Anne's ghost. So Crow takes Devil Jack in there and they are attempting to pull the switcheroo. Okay. Um Beige has given good and detailed instructions on how to do this properly. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh no. Oh, boy. <laughs> and, uh, you... <laughs> so, and we fuck it up. Yes! Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we properly fuck it up. Uh, so... So disappointed in you, too. So yep. you, you, uh, you pull Lady Anne's ghost... Essentially, the, the box wants to hold on to the ghost that's inside of it. So you jam this other woman's ghost in there, which dislodges Lady Anne. But Lady Anne comes screaming out of the box, and it manif- is manifest in front of you. Um, and she's screaming <laughs> and wailing because she's super pissed that she's been like trapped in this box for several weeks at this point. And... Uh, and Everyone in the building is running downstairs to see what the fuck is going on. Oh boy. Um, Ray is going to be portraying Lady Anne for the rest of this session. Ah! Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> uh, there's several professors have come down the stairs. And they are also, you know, they're yelling, like, what is going on? What is that? Oh, no. (laughs) And yelling. Catch the ghost. Yeah. Anne's yelling, and it's, like, this supernatural, like, fucking ghost wail. And uh... And ghosts make everybody really upset. (laughs) Yeah. Really upset. Really scared. (laughs) Something they do. (laughs) Yes. Very freaked out. Um, I really need to buy some social dice. Any social dice whatsoever <laughs> oh. oh no i you're leaving this oh no i'm i'm the social character in this scene that is correct oh this could not be more fucked <laughs> i i i like machines <laughs> I t- and i like meat sacks. like <laughs> meat sacks not so much <laughs> we're in trouble i mean we're in trouble uh lady anne has a little bit of social capability <laughs> Yeah, but right now I'm screaming. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad as hell. Yes, <laughs> I'm screaming and upsetting everyone around me. I'm mm-hmm. basically a banshee. Great. Am I uh... am I correct in uh, in seeing that I can't actually possess anyone because I don't have the possession ability? Uh, you you can't. You are you have the poltergeist ability. Yeah. So you can do um, essentially you can interact with people. But, but I you can't possess them. But you can't possess them. No. Darn. All right. Anyway. So I, <laughs> uh, I think I know what I want to do here. So Lady okay. Anne is okay. screaming. There's professors running into this room. Yes. Um, there is a way. Where's our way out? First off, let me start there. Uh, there's, there's, <laughs> like, just like a door. <coughs> well, it's like, do I have to run down like a flight of stairs? Uh, yeah. So everybody's coming down a flight of stairs. You would have to go up that flight of stairs to get, to get out. out. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I don't remember, Spider, do you remember if Beige actually opened, like, created a ghost door into this area? I 
believe so. Yes, I think that was one of the things that Beach did, but that was, it was a couple, like a month ago. Yeah, so a month ago. Um, I, mean, <laughs> I, gonna, I couldn't say, say with this, any certainty. Yeah, I'm going to say for the purposes of this that if if they did, like if she, if Beige did that, it's something she knows how to do, and that you and Double Jack do not. Oh, yeah, I sure that's, as fuck oh, not. no, no clue. <laughs> right. No clue. All right. So here's how I think I want to handle the situation. So okay. clearly this has gone wrong, but I am uh, a, you know, supernatural crimes unit officer from Tykeros. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which I am the devil cops, like the people that police the devils, yep. demons, yes. whatever they're called in this. I keep, my brain goes immediately to fall in London where they're devils. And I believe they're demons in this, right? Uh, the, I don't think there's a distinction. The between bad yeah, not people, no. not ghost things. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there's a distinction between demon, demon and devil. This isn't no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, so uh, I'm I'm the demon cops. Right. Like so, I definitely have like some sort of arcane badge. Right. So uh, I'm gonna whip that shit out and just be like, this experiment went horribly wrong, and then I'm gonna grab Lady Anne because I am also a ghost fighter. <laughs> Okay. You can grab me? <laughs> I'm going to drag you out. We're going to run. And I'm going to just be like, FBI! Ghost FBI! Let's go! <laughs> Ghost FBI! <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. You grab onto Anne, and Anne is like, like ineffectively like like clawing at you because she's still just really angry and disoriented and you're the first thing to interact with her so far that's that's okay i mean as long as you're cool with me like grappling oh, yeah. you out and being like ghost fbi yeah, grab me and get out of there <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's like i'm gonna act like this has this is some sort of ghost crime that has gone wrong right okay I'm apprehending the culprit who we totally didn't accidentally release um okay I'm gonna I'm gonna actually have you roll command. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's what I was hoping you were gonna yeah. say. <laughs> and I'm gonna push myself. Okay. Uh, and this is still desperate, right? Uh, yes, this is very desperate. <laughs> uh, standard effect. Yes. All right. Cool. Uh, one bonus die. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you guys jinxed it. You were like Monica's so lucky. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm already dead, so yep. <laughs> okay. This is the name of my character. I don't even go here. I don't even go. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. <laughs> uh, so you you <laughs> grab Lady Anne. Great. And you're like, you know, ghost cop essentially, and and you're yeah. trying to you know sell this get out of my way bullshit, and the, people are just looking at you like. You know, what's going on here? You need to explain yourself. Who even are you? And Anne is, she's not trying to resist you or anything, but just coming into contact with her is like this violent reaction of ectoplasmic force like that jolts through you. Um, and you're going to take uh, a level two harm from it. Okay. Let me reset everything. So if you would like to resist that. Um. Well, this may trauma me out, so let's do it. <laughs> I'll just chase right on playable. It's cool. <laughs> Join me. It's free experience. <laughs> just gonna be uh, just gonna be me and a ghost. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fortunately, Danielle is not playing with the rule where that removes you from the scene. No, no, I don't. So, I'm not uh, a fan. Yeah, no, okay, I'm... so um, right. This is I pick my attribute to um. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. You're gonna need. I'm. I'm gonna tell you probably resolve. Okay, cool, because that's one of my good ones, and I was going to okay. argue for that. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's... Now, remember, you want the high numbers. Yeah, I... I shut up. <laughs> uh, All right, cool. I, I, I am a ghost fighter, so I am capable of grappling spirits to restrain mm-hmm. and capture them. But this sure, has sure. gone... Sh- this this is, has gone pear-shaped. This is not... Yeah. <laughs> nothing. Right. Nothing. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. five. Ooh. How's that? There How's we go. that? That's good. <laughs> uh, so I take one stress instead of uh, two harm. Well, it, it reduces the level of the harm. Right. It's okay. So I take one stress and one har- level one, one harm. harm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. If only it what, got what, rid of it altogether. What's my injury? Um, Ghost I- fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, nerve damage. 
one of those sessions. Ah, uh, shot nerves, sure. Shot nerves, yeah. Because yeah. level one's not like a serious injury yet. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Crow, what are you doing? Uh, following after, actually. Like, if that's, like, it's literally just, like, is there, what? I'm trying to think. We were down here, and this was where all of the, the cool machinery stuff was, right? Right, yeah. Okay, There's... so let's grab whatever is nearest and looks cool and run after. <laughs> are you just stealing something that's not nailed down and getting out of here? <laughs> Be gay, you crimes. Be gay, you crimes. Uh, oh, we got caught. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Basically, yes. Like, oh, this is important to this experiment. You know, like, gotta, gotta go. This is I'm evidence. With the ghost police. I got. Yes, this is I'm evidence. Like, I'm taking evidence with the ghost police. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Cool. Uh. So, so you just grab something and you start yep. pushing through. Um, yep. <clears throat> And uh, I'm actually going to have you roll um, skirmish to try to push past these people who are kind of blocking and freaking out. And Cool. They're not. Uh, so risky, desperate. desperate. What am I at? You're a desperate. That's what I figured. All <laughs> right. Standard effect. Also, this is going to be don't forget so much experience. Yeah. Don't forget to mark experience for what you, like the, the attribute that you roll whenever... We're not oh. gonna make a roll, so yes, I need to do that. This is gonna be bad. Oh, okay, no, that's not bad at all. No that's zero oh. though, so oh. that's very yeah. bad. <laughs> oh no! That's oh, awful. no. Yes. Oh yeah. no! You guys are really docking this up. <laughs> I have not like I. <laughs> this is not what laugh. I made for. You can feel spit making. <laughs> sardonic comments from wherever she this, is this is not what okay. i made for okay okay so you uh you grab something you start pushing through people and they're just uh they're just really resistant to what you're doing and somebody grabs you and says you know stop right there you can't take that and essentially you are now pinned by someone um and and not like grappled but like they have you restrained uh, uh hey then, this then, is this is evidence that i'm taking yeah they with, don't they don't care oh, <laughs> they just don't care uh yeah. you also somebody has somebody is calling for the blue coats at this point Great. cool yep awesome uh so what is lady ann doing <laughs> she's getting dragged around by jack right now right sure yeah Maybe. a little um God, where's, I wish that were me. Where is Jack? <laughs> where is Jack taking? Me? Uh, Jack hasn't going? really thought that far out, out of the building, out away. Out of the building, Jack. Yeah. Um, leaving me behind. Uh, if this is happening sort of at the same time, right? Yeah. Like, so I'm not quite sure Jack is aware. Oh no, I know. <laughs> the crow is, is no. been been apprehended yeah. yet. No. I don't know that she is really cognizant enough yet to take action because she basically like popped out of this box and went no. Nah! So yeah. I don't. I mean, there's a bunch of people surrounding you. They all seem really scared of you and a little yeah. angry. And you recognize some of these people. Um, oh, some of these people are colleagues, or at least they were in life. Um, do I know any names? No, it, it, it's all very vague and kind of fuzzy to you. Um, you, you do recognize them though. And some of them were not, they were not good to you. Oh, okay. And, and it, lots of men here and not, not like Duskfall is, is really bad about misogyny or anything like that. But there are definitely some people here who, you know, spend a lot of time trying to scoop you on research and, uh, weren't necessarily on your good side as far as that kind of thing goes. Um, so, but I know, do know them, and I don't know the people that are dragging me off. You, you don't really know the people who are trying to drag you off. Um, so I, I think, but, what they, but you do doing... know, but you do know that they let you out of the box. This this guy who has you by the arm, and the the other person that they're with, it, he that he's with is you know that they are responsible for freeing you. Oh, okay. Oh boy. 
That's very conflicting. It's, it's I mean, I am conflicting. I am be very like, handsome. Calling for help and then, <laughs> oh, okay, she's about to be like, oh, and then turn and be like, oh. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, this handsome man me. who let me out of a box. All right. This handsome, this handsome man just grabbed me and carried me off. <laughs> All right. Well, she's not screaming anymore. Okay. But Thank she is still a very terrifying ghost. Yes. I mean, uh, I think I'm quote the uh, the classics when I say I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I um the classics. She's still the confused classics. about what's going on, and I'm not sure where Jack is taking us. Like I don't know what to uh, how to assist Jack. Well, I mean, you could maybe try to make people clear a path, uh, or maybe try to uh, talk to somebody. Yeah, I mean, I guess you oh, could right, be extra okay. scary and uh, try to um, get people get yeah, out of sure. the way. If uh, yeah, there's a lot of people in the way trying to stop Jack, um, and perhaps not entirely aware of what has become of her tries to kind of wheel around and like shout for everyone to get out of the way but what she ends up doing is sort of like phasing through Jack a little bit <laughs> <laughs> and instead of saying you know in a commanding you know lady like voice everyone please clear a path she's like like using that banshee <laughs> like shriek again trying to get everybody out of the way okay um go ahead and roll command and they're still desperate yes Do I get if, um, do I get an enhanced effect because I'm scary? Yes. Yeah. You are you are terrifying, as it turns out. Not that terrifying. <laughs> uh, oh man, this this is going to be a comedy good, of errors tonight. A good night. A good night. Okay. <laughs> um. So you. Oh man. All right. You can't possess people, but when you wheel around and you're trying to like tell people like get out of the way and stuff like that, you actually like you phase through Devil Jack and you get stuck. I'm stuck in Devil Jack? In Devil Jack. <laughs> this is the opposite of what I wanted to happen. This better not just... awaken anything in me. <laughs> And like I just imagined like a clipping error as his <laughs> tattoos, like his protective tattoos go off yeah. um, as they are meant to protect him from like being attacked by supernatural things that would go through him. Okay. Right. So, I'll be like... right back. <laughs> so yeah. So Lady Anne uh, clips through <laughs> Devil Jack and then um, <clears throat> just get stuck there you could still like talk and interact with the outside world but now you cannot necessarily move like you would normally be able to well this um, is i mean now you don't have to be grabbing me i'm kind of stuck like, <laughs> I, guess I, shoulder. Let, I guess i can let her go uh devil jack this is it extremely uncomfortable i hope this doesn't <laughs> awaken something in me <laughs> i mean you missed with this, you, with this crew. I mean, uh, you missed what happened to Twinkle at the last session. What happened to Twinkle? <laughs> she um she got ghost sight. Uh huh. Sure did. <laughs> so I okay. got in the kitchen. I had to go let her out. Oh, you're fine. Okay, so um, these guys I'm are very. Um, they're confused and they're scared and they have Crow and they're trying to like, they have somebody and this other person has a ghost in them. And so they're not sure that they really want to fuck with Devil Jack. Um, so they're trying to drag Crow up the stairs, um, while they're like shouting out for somebody to, to contact the, the blue codes. Um, oh they, boy. We have caught thieves is going so badly <laughs> this is going so badly comically badly really comically Comedy. badly yeah uh, and i'm i'm where running are, out of where stress. are our competent people <laughs> not here 
not here because I'm like I'm like just yelling Jack what the fuck you know like yeah I guess all right well this is also just gonna go wrong so fuck it may as well uh uh, Devil Jack is like bug-eyed at this point because you know (laughs) he's got a ghost stuck in him it's not supposed to go like this and he's just he just turns sort of wild-eyed at the escapees who are dragging poor crow away and is just like blue coats can't help you with this (laughs) just let us go i'm still the ghost police (laughs) that's not fake still the ghost (laughs) okay uh do you want to uh (sighs) (laughs) okay i I was aiming for like a command role because at least if I'm not lying. I'm at least terrifying, right? Like, sure. This is yeah. at least ter- scary and confusing. Okay. Uh, go ahead and let's see your command. All right. I'm gonna That's as a so ghost. Scary. Can I spend drain as, as just as yes? As yeah. Stress? You, oh yeah. You can, can I would ab- love to assist. Yeah. You can absolutely spend drain to assist in this endeavor. There you go. Lend some weight to Double Jack's. I, I'm command. sure this is really freaky looking, just without me actively helping. <laughs> Clipping error. It's a Bethesda game up in here. I know. <laughs> Poor Bethesda. Todd. Are you are you rolling? Oh yeah. Oh, the two. <laughs> she needed to roll something. Sorry. No, no. Oh. She just spent oh. the drain to give you an right, extra right, die. Right. Cause it's like, die. okay. Command. I will take the bonus die. Desperate position. Standard effect with a bonus die. Now I have two dice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fucking now finally. we're back in business. Fucking All right. finally. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So you're screaming like, you know, I am still the ghost police. Police. Um, Trust me, I'm a professional. At this point, because of what of what these people have witnessed and they're not sure what is going on with this ghost inside of you now. And did you do that? Did it do that? This sounds this seems weird. Who fucking knows? Um, The ghost police. (laughs) Right. So the the everybody kind of like murmurs a little bit and gets out of your way like quickly the people Good. the people who have crow um kind of look to you oh. for um like what about this person like, like let him go <laughs> um <laughs> and we're gonna move um from desperate to risky okay um and uh crow i think if you like uh exert yourself you that these people are not hold on holding on to you tightly okay um so you you should be able to just kind of brush out of their grip um and follow devil jack out okay um that and, is what i'll do then right and devil jack is doing that tall human walking with purpose uh that makes <laughs> people get out of their way uh even if like even authorities are like why are you walking with purpose you must have somewhere to go uh, if you walk like you're supposed to be there people are just like oh, that giant person is supposed to be here yes uh, <laughs> this is a strategy with which i am very familiar yes yeah uh so devil jack and Cro- with with lady Anne stuck inside of him and crow following close behind uh, go up the stairs and down the hallway and uh, you as you're you know almost to the door out you run across Lord Penderin who is well, running down the hall to find out what the hell is going on in his lab hide the thing in my jacket maybe okay. uh, <laughs> hi Hi. Crow's like stuffing things in their jacket. (laughs) (laughs) Hello. (laughs) Crow's like rattling down the hall. (laughs) Look. Jingling. (laughs) I am what I am. Uh, (laughs) All right. You knew what you were getting. (laughs) Yes. How is half of our crew just 
gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> just, just goblins. <laughs> it's just... If I put my coat on, does it stop the clipping error? No. Okay. But it, just it does make it, it does make it less obvious that okay. that she's there. Um, I'm like, ma'am, I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> I'm gonna put my coat on uh, over yeah. her face. <laughs> does Lady Anne remember anything about Lord? <laughs> you recognize him. Um, and you remember him as a close personal colleague. Um, and you don't remember his name or why he was important to you. Um, but he feels important. So no, like, associated negative or positive? It's just, um, I know him, he was important? You you feel positive, like, feelings towards him. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Like, you feel like maybe you were close, but you don't know how. Okay. Okay. Um, I would, she's gonna try to free herself from Jack. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna resist. Okay. Not having a weird lady stuck in me. <laughs> uh, roll a tune. Oh yes. <clears throat> Excellent. It turns out I'm very good at that. You are very good at that. <laughs> That's a critical. I don't even know. Okay. Um. So you pull yourself. Uh, out of Devil Jack, and you have the option now to either remain manifest uh, or to like fade back into the ghost field. Uh, she's going to remain manifest, as okay. far as she knows. This is someone potentially helpful and friendly, yeah. and she's still very confused about what's going on with her. Okay, uh, so you know, Lord Penryn is running up. Uh, Devil Jack puts his coat on. Sorry, ma'am. And then uh, Lady Anne just kind of pops right out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's standing there in, uh, you know, Crow recognizes the. <laughs> yes. I can't do the mouth poppy thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, so Crow recognizes her because um, I think Crow was there when they found her dead body. Yes. Um she is wearing the same clothes. Uh, she looks the same uh, other than the giant gaping chest wound that she had when you saw her dead. Oh, she okay. doesn't have that. Um, okay. But she's wearing the same clothes and she's, you know, looks the same. Um, in okay. fact, she's, in your experience, a really well-preserved ghost. Um, like she doesn't look haggard or uh, bleedy like you're used to seeing. Um, right she doesn't look like she's lost very much of her essence okay i didn't leave anything behind in jack no didn't lose my keys (laughs) didn't lose your keys in jack's boot (laughs) yeah he takes his undershirt off later and just like keeps fall out like on his chest (laughs) there's like like, no keys ectoplasm just oozes off of him (laughs) This is fine. He's just going to uh, stand in a shower for the next eight hours. It's no big deal. Uh, There's no showers in Duskfall. There are no He's just going to stand in the rain bucket for the next eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> we drink from that. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, so Spit's going to keep drinking from it. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew it. <laughs> we do not need that kind of... This is a... I don't even know. This is a what? I was gonna say this is a family, a family friendly podcast. Yeah. Not anymore. No. Not on your Christian never. Minecraft server. <laughs> Not in my <laughs> Christian blades in the dark. Let's play. <laughs> I'm drinking double jack all the water. way down, and now this. Stop me. I don't think so. No. <laughs> okay. I don't. Think I'm so. sorry. I brought up the rain bucket. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So, uh, Lord Pendred sees Lady Anne and Devil Jack and Crow and is mightily confused. (laughs) Good. I'm just Me too. Like, is he just sort of standing there with his gap hanging open? (laughs) Yeah. Cool. I'm just going to push past him. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep going. Just keep walking. Hey, bud. I'm just like, I was just like, good day, sir. So pat him you, on the head or whatever so, and just so, keep going right so you two keep so, walking but i'm gonna assume that lady Anne does not no. right 
So you, so you <laughs> notice, like, you start walking, and Lady Anne's still standing there. Uh, she's not following you. I'm about to open my mouth and ask him a question. Go uh, for it. I'm going to just be like, uh, right, cool. mm, come on. <laughs> Slide whistle <Let's> effect. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's like a ghost Doppler effect, like, what happened to me? As she's getting dragged away. Right. I'll be back. I got to move the pups. Okay. I hear a yapper. Yeah. I'm just, I, I'm sorry I'm repeatedly manhandling you, Lady Anne. <laughs> just like Lady Anne isn't really that upset about it. <laughs> She's just Yoink. confused. She's just like, why? So yeah. Uh, so you you grab Lady Anne and you you're dragging her along, and she's, you know, what happened to me? <laughs> and Lord Penderin turns and he's like, I thought we had a deal. Out of character, Monica doesn't remember what that was. So he <laughs> was paying your crew to pull. <laughs> you should put your hand on top of your head. Yeah, I did. Like you're supposed to do this. <laughs> They're both valid. Anyway. And then you do. What is this? Nah, and then we do the caramel dance. And anyway, and what then, was the deal? <laughs> and then we fear the deer. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, the deal was that he was paying you to uh, release Lady Anne's ghost from the box because he couldn't figure out how to do it so that he could, so that you could all talk to Lady Anne and find out what happened to her. Right. Okay. And he had questions he had for the ghost and okay, you ostensibly so, had questions you had for the ghost. And he right, was so like. So potentially we are still upholding the deal because we have questions for the ghost. Yes, originally. Yeah, so I, I, I'm just like, no, we're, we're, we'll bring her back. I promise. <laughs> we're, we're gonna ask her our questions. Right. We're that, just borrowing her. Right. Yeah, that wasn't part her. of the deal, though. Uh, <laughs> things went <that> pear shaped. <laughs> we're scoundrels. What do you want? <laughs> Facts. I got back time just in time for we're scoundrels. What do you want? I'm just like, <laughs> truth. Okay. Truth. Uh, so he is not going to be happy if you leave with the ghost. All right. We don't have to leave with the ghost. Uh, we just have to ask her some questions. We, wanna, we wanted to talk to her. That was the point, right? Right? Um, party? Yeah. <laughs> right, party? <laughs> yes. That's what I'm, we wanted. I'm literally the ghost. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, that's what we wanted. Correct. <laughs> yes. Uh, I changed the stream. It's not info. a machine. I don't I don't know. We were trying to do the switcheroo for beige. Yeah, I know. Right? Okay. Yep. That, well, beige is in yeah. here. Yeah, well, beige is in here. Uh, when party members are missing, shit just goes haywire. It just goes haywire. <laughs> True. Yeah, it's utterly fucking haywire. Beach is the responsible party. Beach is the <laughs> most responsible member of the party. It's and true. and she's not here right now. She's so. not here right now. <laughs> so, shrug emoji. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. hmm. On the scale of responsible to least responsible, we have Beach, right? Yeah. Yeah. And probably Jack. Probably. probably. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, Twinkle and Crow down here. <laughs> And then spit at the very and bottom. And then spits way over there <laughs> with her reckless trauma. <laughs> spit not even on the chart. So, okay, here, this is my, this is actually a question out of character. Do okay. we want to, this is, and for the party, largely, do we want to be like, oh, we're just going to ask her some questions. Fine. Give us a private sitting room so we can commune with the ghost. Uh, and then, like, I don't know, make a, sure. make a, make a sheet rope and rappel down the side of the building or that sounds shit. like a smart as smart as any of our other ideas or do <laughs> so. we just want to be like and leave uh, and leave <laughs> well, well like uh, that's our, like what's he gonna do fight me i, I mean possibly <laughs> i mean you don't gonna, know anything he's... about lord pender and he could be a vampire He's gonna lose unless he's unless he's a vampire lord, unless he's secretly like also lord scurlock yeah Okay, um, so <laughs> you probably, but he's also like a person who employs you, so you probably don't want to piss him off. So um, you probably don't want to piss him off. That's that's a fair point. So he, 
so are you, so how are you going to handle this? You're going to stop. You're going to say, Hey, can we have like a private room? Right. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, cause you know, the, the, we, we all want to ask lady Anne questions. Uh, we would like, you know, first dibs basically, which sounds like a thing. Meanwhile, <laughs> lady Anne um, is going, Oh, that's my name. Lady <laughs> right. Anne. Lady Anne. That's right. That sounds familiar. Right. Is that so what, you, you know, like, <laughs> Uh, apologies for the commotion. How about you give us a, a private space where we can converse with the ghost without her terrifying literally everyone? Okay. Um, Which is going to be one of those nice um, social skills that I don't have dots in. <laughs> Sway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> don't worry. I'm actually not going to make you roll this because okay. I think he's he's pretty amiable to the idea of bringing her in a room so that all of his colleagues who are totally freaked out and are following you now down the hall because like you've got past them but they still want to see what's going on um and and you know that's not necessarily something that he wants to uh like do in front of everybody <clears throat> right right so he's like C come with me and he leads you down the hall and to essentially a private office, which maybe it's not his office because you've been to his office and it's not in this right. building, uh, right. but it's definitely somebody's office. And he, he leads you all in and he shuts the door behind him. So he's in there with you. And he says, okay, explain to me what happened before I walk out of here. Slowly, Crow, you're saying it. Girl, you're, not, you're not any good at talking to people. Are you? I was no. in a box, and then I was it, not. Is is it a machine? No. Then Crow is no good with it. Right. And uh, he, he looks at, he says, Lady Anne, I'm so happy to see you. I, yes, I'm also very happy to see you. Whoever the fuck you are. <laughs> <laughs> How do we yes. know each other exactly? You don't remember? I remember you, guy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Bro. Person. Friend, maybe? Who knows? Oh, sir. sir. Uh, he says, ah, uh, Lord Penderin. Huh. It seems, it seems that things aren't as... It is worse than I expected. I will I will give you 10 minutes with her. Please let me know whether or not you think that you can restore her memory. So, is someone going to explain what happened to me? I was inside of this person earlier. What? And I would much prefer to not remember that that happened. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I, at this point, I think I'm just going to have to be like, listen, <laughs> the mm. member of our crew whose expertise is dealing with ghosts couldn't be here right now. And unfortunately, she sent us two, who are not as experienced, to in, 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 in her stead. So um, I'm a ghost? Yes, you are. In fact, a ghost. Uh yeah. Do, you, do so people what, not realize that they're dead? So, um, Is that how this works? Um, normally, yeah, they totally normally realize that they're dead. Um, you're not sure why <laughs> she's like, "Am I, I'm dead?" <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that why I'm see through? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, what killed me? Why am I dead? That that's a good question. It I wasn't don't... either of you, right? No, nope. oh, sure not. Mm -mm. Did you put me in that box? No. Nope. <laughs> Surely okay. no. Definitely Why? wasn't either of us. <laughs> it nope. definitely wasn't either of us. <laughs> um, so then my explanation to Lord Penderton is basically like that's Beige's job, and she's not here. Okay. She sent us. We tried to tamp we tried to like do the thing with the spirit in the box. We fucked it up. It exploded. I had to grab her. She got stuck in me. We scared the shit out of your assistance. We were trying to just go get to Beige, and here we are. I apologize for terrifying you. Okay. Well, 
<laughs> it seems that we won't be able to get very much without Beige, but maybe I can try talking to her. All right. Do very you, well, then. Do you... <laughs> I don't know. Just go sit down. Like, cool. Go ahead. Talk to her. Okay. Uh, So. She's like sticking her hand through (laughs) stuff. So. Sticking uh, her hand through chat. Please. Does that hurt? Does that hurt? No. How about that? Okay. No, you're going to get stuck again. Stop it. What about this? What's the. Stop it. Stop it. I'm sorry. Ma'am. You're right. I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. So Lord Penderin asks Lady Anne, and to to not have like a weird like NPC like jerk off, even though you're portraying <laughs> this character, um, he essentially says, you know, you were trying to summon a demon. Okay. Um, what does that mean? You had performed a ritual to summon a demon. Uh why did I do that? He like glances at Devil Jack and Crow and is like, that part's not important. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> Pretty sure it is, dude. Pretty sure it is. Is the demon what killed me? I don't know. And I'm trying to find out. Not just well, if the demon killed you, or if someone killed you before the demon arrived. Cool. Okay. Either way, the demon... Are there a lot of people that would like to kill me? Or wanted to kill me? I don't know. <laughs> turns to Jack. <laughs> like, this guy doesn't know anything. He nope. really doesn't. I can't imagine anyone who would want to kill you. Your your research here was mostly quiet, uh, along the lines of demon energy with myself. Um, your most of our colleagues paid you little mind. I can't imagine any of them trying to murder you or anything like that but you were also involved in things that I wasn't is any of us ringing a bell for her at all as he's talking to Lady Anne uh, you start to remember that oh yeah you did have secrets Lots of oh, them. that does sound like something I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm like, oh, that does sound like me. Yeah, I, I definitely have secrets. Uh, and, you know, as you are you know, thinking, you know, you're trying very hard to remember, like, what is this guy talking about? Demons? What is this? Uh, you do remember that you were, you did, you have a vast knowledge of demon and demonology and demon research and how demons react to things and how they act and all these kind of things. And as you're thinking about it, you say, I don't think the demon would have killed me. Oh, I don't think the demon would have killed me. <laughs> That's a So we need to find out who would have killed me instead. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> hmm. Is your memory coming back? Well, in bits and pieces. Um, not a lot of very useful visions of who would have killed me. Um, can I try to make an attune roll? Sure. What to try what, to? What do you want to get out? Cause of Because I know attune is kind of the like woogie woogie woogie. It is. Yeah. Um, I. <laughs> what? It's woogie 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 woogie. It's kind of the catch-all supernatural skill. It, it is. Um, I want to attune to the ghost field. Okay. To I want to attune to myself and see if I can't find within my own essence some kind of clue to how I died. 
because if I can th- if I can narrow down, oh, it wasn't the demon, then it was probably a person. So it's like, all right, was it a blade? Was it a gun? Was it okay. poison? Like, okay. try to figure this out. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's do that. What position am I in? Um. We're gonna say that you're in uh, controlled at this point. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you, you're like concentrating really hard. I'm like searching myself. Yeah. You're searching yourself. You're concentrating really hard. Personal inventory. Yeah. You're, you're also like doing this weird thing. And so everybody in the room and (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Mastazaz, how are you feeling today, ghost? Come to think of it, I'm feeling way more stabbed than I used to. <laughs> now that you mention it, now that you mention it, I'm feel feeling a like stabbed. someone like drew their knife and plunged it into my still beating heart. Yeah, um, you're, but you're doing a weird thing where you're essentially like uh, pulling the ghost field into yourself and uh, resonating with it, and like essentially uh, pulling into these like the memories of the ghost field itself, um, which looks really weird to everybody else who's watching this happen because you essentially start like, like glowing and and crackling with electrostatic energy. Like a dial up tone. (laughs) As I'm attuning. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Ding. Yeah. Uh, so you, you've got mail. Yeah. So you're, you know, kind of pulling into this and <clears throat> you get some like static images of yourself and another individual, um, a man with dark hair. Um, you don't recognize him and you can't, you wouldn't be able to recognize him anyway because it's a very like s- staticky image. Uh, the best you're like, I, it looks masculine and it looks like a dark, long haired person. Um, okay. And it, they definitely, you're, you feel like you're in the, you're almost, you're, you're performing a thing. You're almost ready to do something. And you're guessing maybe this is the demon summoning ritual. You never got around to actually doing it, maybe. Um, and it is, uh, as you're, you know, kind of moving in your memories and everything, you, you feel again, this feeling of being stabbed over and over again and having your, like, essentially being eviscerated. Uh, you were alive when that was happening to you. Uh, and you Yikes. relive the feeling of it and it's very painful and very violent uh, and you just start wailing again. Yeah, I start, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, Anne comes out of this, like, screaming again. Right. And so um, everybody in the room, Crow and Devil Jack, uh, the, this ghost that you've been talking to is now, like, banshee wailing again. I'm look at, I look at Lord Penderin, like, what did you do? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I asked her if she could remember what happened. Well, it was clearly nothing good. <laughs> Clearly not. Well, you f- you found her body. We're not. Your crew did. I wasn't in that episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If... Yeah, we did. I don't think either of us were. I don't think either of us were actually found her body. Nope. Spit did. Spit did. <laughs> it's not here. Yeah. Uh. Well. Did did your crew tell you anything about? what she looked like or i mean probably uh monica doesn't remember though yeah she was like open stern to stem like Oof. and eviscerated I did, yeah and, and got and sort everywhere. of like laid out and laid out yes like in, a ritual in middle, to summon a demon yes literally in the center of like a demon summoning ritual it freaked yes. beach out yeah quite a bit Wow, if it freaked beach out it had to have been bad it was it was pretty bad and it was and they and they showed up moments after it happened because her ghost was still in her body it was still forming yeah Yeah. and they brought the box to it yes 
Yeah, it was I'm, great. I'm... <laughs> you should have been there. It was great. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain to Lord Pendrin that, like, well, from what they told me, they found her, her being the subject prepped for the ritual. <sighs> so traumatic. She clearly. stopped screaming at some point. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so I don't. Did you, did you see who did this to you, Lady? As Anne? as soon as she stops screaming and has like whatever her mental faculties are, back, mm -hmm. um, she just immediately starts rattling off the description of what she saw. Okay, which was you know, tall, masculine, long black okay. hair. Check short black hair. All right, good. Yeah, uh, and the describing the, the describing what it was like to be stabbed and torn open. Right. Um, hadn't actually performed the summoning yet. The demon wasn't there yet. Okay, so so you did not summon the demon, and you were murdered before it could, the ritual could happen. This is interesting. This sounds probably bad. Sounds really bad. Probably bad. Yeah. <laughs> Probably bad. Does yeah. does that description? Do you know who that is? Do you I, know who that could have been? I I don't. Um, I know that you had other people that you were dealing with, but he just kind of looks at both, uh, like Devil Jack and Crow, and he's just like fuck it, you're, you're already in this really deep. So he says, you know, you contacted me, told me that you had a lead on an idea. The, the box that you were trapped in was your design, your creation. I was studying it for you to make sure that it would work. Um, and you wanted to do a live test. It's built to hold a demon and not a ghost. And so I had the post bring the box to you. But when they arrived, someone had already, well, done this to you. And Beige put your ghost into the box, not knowing what it was actually designed for. Does any of this ring a bell for her? Any of this bring anything back? Yeah, as as he's saying this, you're like And actually from I'm sorry, from the memory of oh, this guy came in and stabbed me. Was he was he unexpected? Like, oh no, what are you doing here? Or or was he supposed to be there and then he started killing her? He was unexpected. Um okay. and you don't you don't have a sense that you knew who it was. Like unexpected okay. and un known. unfamiliar. Yeah, and unfamiliar. Um, <clears throat> that doesn't mean it wasn't someone like, it doesn't mean it wasn't like an assassination from someone you did know. It just means whoever they hired or whoever came and killed you didn't, you didn't know them. Um, and maybe on, on purpose because, you know, ghosts linger and they remember things often. Uh, <laughs> so, um, and, and, and maybe the post scared them off. Maybe they were gonna, you know, burn your body or something like that. Who knows? um but i mean not from well not that Anne would know this but not from what we saw like she was laid out like a cere like ceremonially basically sure sure that doesn't mean that when they arrived that person didn't skedaddle right True. like yeah they didn't necessarily finish what they were gonna do <laughs> right um y you you do remember that you um, the demonology, the, the, the study, the demon study is all you and not really Lord Pendrin. Um, he's a colleague who knows a lot about ghosts, um, but not all that much about demons. Okay. All right. Um, I want very badly to look into my old research and, uh, perhaps go to where I lived. Yeah. If that would be acceptable, I'll just, uh, you just I start, guess, go you, through the wall. Um, yeah, you can absolutely just go through the wall. 
Where's uh, she going? You can you can Shit. essentially you can't go See, through uh, the wall. I'm gonna go slam her some folks. Yeah, you can't actually go through the wall. You just go through like under the crack in the door, essentially. <laughs> All right. So she like slips out the door. Bye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Lord Penderin looks at Devil Jack and Crow and says, "Follow her." Well, obviously, Ar- already on the it. Wall? With Does the she stuff have under an her office in the? No, they in go. The they go. Un- she goes under the door because oh. she can't. <laughs> she can't actually go through walls. She can go through s- small spaces, essentially. I'm liquidy. Yeah. Oh, you're you're Alex Mack, not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't phase yes. shift. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, a, a dated reference. Yes. I'm old. Um, does she, I got it. Don't does worry. she have like an office in this building, or <laughs> what's um, the? Uh... She she not in this building, but she does have an office on campus. Yes. That's where I'm going. All right. My taking my little liquidy puddle form down there, <laughs> following the liquidy puddle to All wherever right. it goes. Okay. Uh, so the everybody kind of goes to her. Uh, goes to her office um she slips in th- under the crack but the door is locked so when devil jack and crow tried to follow her in they're like the door is locked Ooh, hey he's already I... like trying to get to like journals or whatever and figuring out that night even Hold pick on. him up Let's see all right <laughs> I I, I, can i can i break the lock if not pick it I mean, uh like that, yeah that's a thing i can do yeah you could you can tinker I'll give you Tinker to uh, pick a lock. What is my position there? Uh, controlled. Okay. In standard. Really? <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you get the lock open, but you break cool. it. All right, whatever. <laughs> that was going to be my next tactic anyway. <laughs> if I, <laughs> right. if I could pick it, I was just going to break it. Yeah. Uh, that's one way to do it yeah. open the door and just go right in i was planning that yeah totally. I like the door doesn't close at all Ooh. anymore <laughs> oops is devil jack behind the crow like <laughs> all right it took her a couple right. of tries to realize that she can't actually pick up these journals and then she actually like takes some like take some drain to actually like physically pick something up right yeah you need to to Physically, yeah, you need to manifest yeah. to, to be able to pick things up. I'm manifesting. I You enter and Lady Anne looks surprisingly solid and she's holding a journal or something. I'm not sure what I'm holding. What am I? Fi- what did I find in my office? Uh, probably, <laughs> yeah, probably like your, your lab notebook, which is meticulously detailed um, information about uh, a, like demons and using demon essence instead of ghost essence essentially uh ectoplasmic residue from energy beings rather than from ghosts themselves and how these uh these ectoplasmic resonances are um you know they're not quite like perpetually perpetual energy machines um but you think you've figured out a way to bleed energy from them um which they will naturally re like reform that energy um so not quite perpetually perpetual energy but close all right that's interesting um any any anything in here on notes on like other factions or people that she was working with uh not a ton of that in your office Um, no notes scribbled in the margin like call jeffrey nothing like that uh, (laughs) if only (laughs) if only uh no, there's more like in uh, <clears throat> some of the like some of the stuff is uh, you know most of it is experiments and notes about experiments as long as well as like theories and notes about your theories. Uh, you have a detailed write up of the ritual you were going to perform uh, to okay. to do that. You have a detailed schematic of the box uh she holds the book out when she's done with it kind of kind of gingerly like this is very difficult for me to do could someone with a body take this from me (laughs) i'll take it from her okay um and then i uh i am gonna read over like i I have the journal let's say you hand me the journal that has like the 
the ritual diagram. Uh, and Devil Jack actually knows a lot about the, the sort of demon summoning nonsense because oh. stopping it's his job. Right. Uh, what what can I learn from reading over it that might link her to her murderer? Okay. Um, I would like you to do a study. Okay. I, I have points in that. Do a study. It's not as I do have study. I also have points of a tune. Also, can, find a reason to I get help? that book to Crow so Crow can look at that schematic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's look at this together. So my character wouldn't know to do that. <laughs> I'm just... I'm giving you hints. Yeah. Yeah, can I get some help from Crow? Yeah. I mean, I don't... Yes, tell me what I'm supposed to or, do. Yeah, uh, or, or, just or are mark... you better at studying? I have a dot in study. Yes, yeah, the same. Dot. So, yeah. So, so, if you want to help, just mark a stress, and then that will add a die to double Jack's roll. Okay, I have marked a stress. Okay, I'm uh, helping you out. All right. I hate to ask this question, but do my shot nerves cause me to have less effect here? Um, no, okay. not not in this situation. All right. Okay. So position is controlled. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty. This is pretty not fucked. Uh, standard effect. And yes. And one bonus die. Come on, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right. Look at that. All so right. another yeah. <laughs> What's up? Okay. Play in Blaze in the Dark with me. That's what's up. <laughs> uh, cool. So... Just making sure I don't like fuck this up. Cool. All right. Um, you find so you you're looking through her notes and looking through like uh, everything that she has, and and one of the reasons why you don't see any like names or like aliases or people specifically is because it seems that she was working with the spirit wardens, and the spirit wardens okay. keep an anonymous. Uh, Lady Anne, <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Uh, the the spirit wardens keep a, an anonymous uh, like membership. They use code names and aliases. Uh, mm. They always wear masks and hoods uh, when they go That's to collect bodies and bring them back for for disposal. Um, so nobody knows who a spirit warden is specifically, so that people can't like bribe them or you know they're not on the take essentially because if you don't know who to go contact to be on the take mm -hmm. um and so lady anne was working with the spirit wardens but she didn't necessarily know who any of them were all right that makes sense if i was killed by a spirit warden who just wasn't wearing their mask then this is fucked <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, perfect crime it is the perfect crime <laughs> imagine that um well, um, if she doesn't find anything like name related or anything, her next, she's gonna, she's like, all right, I'm out. I'm going to my house. Like she's, she's kind of single-minded yeah. at this point. Yeah. All right. Well, knowing that it, there's a connection. I have, we have a lead now. It's not a lead that's going to take us very far. <laughs> we have a lead, which is mm -hmm. spirit wardens. Yeah. Unfortunately, by virtue of them being an anonymous organization, trying to figure out what spirit warden might have been on duty at, in this area at the time of death, a little harder. But yeah, spirit warden, possible interest in demon summoning, possible connection to Lady Anne, it's pretty solid. We got something to go on here. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard, but we got something to go on. It's it's not a great lead, but it's right. a lead. But it is a lead. Uh, would it be possible for me to make a dramatic exit soon? Yes. Um, let's say uh, when you... Uh, so are you going to go to your home to, in to, yes. to investigate there? Yeah, she's basically just going to pop out okay. <laughs> and, and just... Whoosh, and, right. and go check out her house. Right. And I'm assuming Devil Jack and Crow are going to follow her there. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, they probably know exactly yeah. where she's going next. Okay, so um, we'll just do this. Uh, you when you get to your home, um, the the like the memories of your murder and what happened are so overwhelming that you you can't maintain like your presence in outside of the ghost field. Oh, okay. Um, like you get there and you start looking around and you start investigating. Um, and you're just so overwhelmed with the memories of that death, uh, that it just like, essentially it, it like you, as a ghost, you I like, blue screen. <laughs> yeah. You like ghost pass out. Um, so if you want to like role play until that happens and then have that be your dramatic exit, um, that'll work. Um, or it can just be like as soon as you guys follow me up to my room you see Anne like like freaking out and, and starting to like like ghost glitch I guess like earlier yeah. um, and then like start screaming like a banshee and then kind of like poof, into the ghost field again all right. Cool. I'm, I look at Crow like you, you should have brought she's, beige. Do you think she's coming back or? <laughs> um, beige would know, but would she's know. not she here. She's not here. You're asking me like I know. I don't I, know anything. I just have all this nothing what, under my what, jacket cause what exactly here. what exactly is that nothing you have under your jacket <laughs> i have no idea because he's still here <laughs> right i did right here under my jacket. i'm gonna i'm gonna dip out early all right okay thank you so much thank for you. letting me play yes. the ghost maybe i can play her again later yeah just you know next time spit overindulges <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen i feel it <laughs> yeah probably all right good night guys all right. Good, night. Good night. Don't don't Thank you. cause too many more ghosts while I'm gone. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. Be gay, do crimes. Be. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta. I gotta fix. She left uh -oh. the call. <laughs> All of a sudden. All of a sudden. I mean. Now I'm wandering between screens. Oh no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do an an intermission. Real okay. quick, my friends, and we will we will come back in a second. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. We are small little break so that I could fix the the streams. So you could actually see Spider <laughs> after Ray left the call. Uh, so, all right. So. Devil Jack and Crow are in Lady Anne's house. Okay. Lady Anne just phased out. She just blue screened and She's, dipped. Yeah. All right. So. And Mr. Man didn't follow us, right? Like he's peace. No, no. Yeah. He did not okay, follow cool. you. He essentially right. charged you with following her. When she okay, that's, bowed out, I was of just his double office. checking because that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now let's find out what I stole. <laughs> um, you have some kind of it looks like um, a specialty, uh, a, like these like ghost hook things that they use to like capture ghosts, like the one that we had previously when I was helping Beige. Uh, yeah, but it, yeah, it's it, but it's definitely like a specialty one. Okay. Um, All right. So can I look at it and figure out what's cool and special about it? Yeah, like I what? mean, it's just it has quality. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah. it's it's fancy. Yeah, it's fancy compared to your standard run of the mill ghost hook. Cool. I'm definitely keeping that. If Beach is nice, I'll let her play with it. Sure. All right. So, cool. Uh, what are we going to do in Lady Anne's house? <laughs> I'm going to, hmm. 
let's see let me look at this character sheet what can i do yeah right i'm like yeah. uh okay so she was I, you know i i never actually did because i've missed all the episodes where this happened i never did get to investigate like <clears throat> the scene of the crime sure which is I was where we say are. yeah yeah i, I mean, have things have survey, been cleaned right? up so. a little uh because the the spirit wardens did come and take the body even though there was no ghost in it um, right any longer but so things have been cleaned up a little bit um, been cleaned up a little bit, but has the magical resonance been totally gone? Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, so it's definitely faded. But I'm gonna say that you can definitely like get still be able to get something. All right. So, being the demon FBI, right? And this was the scene of a demon summoning and a ritual killing. This is shit the Devil Jack knows how to deal with. Yes. Um. So like out of his coat, he's got like the chalk and like the, the pentagram on a chain and like <laughs> <laughs> uh, his, his, his sage and his oils and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to like, you know, mark out where, you know, I think the, where I know that the murder happened. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try to like, listen to the spirit world or whatever and see if I can catch a whiff of resonance of either the spirit warden. I mean, we already know the demon that did it, right? Because they talked to Beach. Yes. Yeah. Um, but to like, you know, all encompassing sorcerer's sight. Sorry, I went straight to an exalted reference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, like where's, where is the connection between these things that might help us track down the guilty party? Even okay. if it's just like, this spirit warden has a thumb, a magical thumbprint that smells like olives or whatever. Okay. And um, I want to try to do that with a tune. Okay. So give me an attune roll. Okay. Uh, position? Risky? Uh, yeah, let's do risky. Okay. Um, am I at standard effect or does my, do my fuck up nerves matter here? Uh, I think your nerves are going to matter here. All right. So limited? Yes. All right. Well. Here goes nothing. What, what is, what's my equipment? What what uh, equipment? I have a spirit bane charm that I don't think is going to help me here. Oh, I have arcane implements. If I have our, if I use my arcane implements, um, does that bump it back up to standard? Yes, we'll say that. Cool. I I will mark off my arcane implements as a a, a piece of equipment, and I will bump that back up to standard. Hit submit. No bonus dice. Let's do this. Hey, there's a five. Excellent. Nice. Yes. Okay. So your <laughs> so you're uh poking around and you're you're doing your kind of arcane implements and you're studying the ghost field and you're you're kind of trying to pull up the, the strongest resonances in the area, which are hopefully the murderer and the people who are involved. Um and Lady Anne is still in the room in the ghost field she's just not visible to you um so when you're doing this you you start feeling uh some of the memories that are bleeding from lady anne as she's experiencing them and okay. you you kind of get um you get this image of this long-haired man mm -hmm. and you're 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 pretty sure that you can the the like signature i guess like in this in the ghost field uh you're pretty sure that if in the future you ran across this person you would be able to recognize them um and one of the, one of the things that's happening is that the ghost field here is very distraught okay and it is it's loud in right. your head while you're kind of trying to look through it and into it and and mostly it's because lady anna is still wailing <laughs> you just she's, she's just in the ghost she's field. just right there screaming <laughs> yes <laughs> um and she and you you catch a vision this is replaying essentially she's seeing this over and over again and now that you're looking into the ghost field you can okay. see 
what she's been seeing. All right. So she walks into her bedroom. All right. And she is, uh, it seems like she's waiting for someone. In the living okay. room is a bunch of implements for a, a demon summoning ritual. There's some fresh dirt. There's some, uh, there's some chalk. There's some other things. And nothing has been laid out yet. Um, and there's a knock on the door. She answers the door and she goes to, you know, she goes to answer it. And she's surprised. Uh, she says, "Are you, are you the post?" And the person doesn't answer her and just pushes in past her. And she says, where is my device? And this man turns to her and says, I'm sorry, I can't let you keep doing what you're doing. And he grabs her like by the throat, uh, which is a surprise. And okay. she tries to fight him off, but he just overpowers her. Um, and he doesn't strangle her or anything. He like knocks her out and drops her on the floor. He then takes all the ritual elements and brings them into her bedroom and puts down like a demon summoning circle. Um, and it appears that he is using her body as a sacrifice to summon this demon. Okay. Um, and you watch the entire ritual uh, to the point where the demon arrives. Um and you recognize from, you know, if Beige described the demon at all uh, to everybody, which I think she did eventually, she did. Um, yeah. you recognize that this is the demon that got... Uh, that spoke to Beige. That spoke to Beige. The demon seems to recognize Lady Anne. <laughs> okay. And... The plot thickens. Yes. And is very upset by, by the fact that she has been murdered. Okay. And... The man said, the demon says, release me, you know, fool, mortal. Right. The man says, this can't go on. I will kill all of your followers. I will kill all of your associates. That is why I brought you here. You must stop what you're doing. And the demon kind of rails inside of its boundaries and, like, overpowers the the circle and pushes out of it. Which is something, Devil Jack, you know, is almost impossible. Okay, so does that indicate that this demon is super powerful or that the ritual was weak? It, it probably more indicates that the ritual was weak. Um okay. I feel like that's a thing Jack would know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th yeah, you, you think that the demon is pretty powerful, probably, mm -hmm. but also that this person who did this ritual is is not a ritualist. Okay. He doesn't necessarily know what he was doing. All right, okay. Um, and you could tell, like, there are parts of the, the circle that are sloppy um, and not fully bound the way it's supposed to be, things like that. All right, well, it was, uh, it was done in a hurry. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> so I guess I come back screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And now you know like, why Lady Anne was screaming so much. Right, right. Like, oh, just like, like resonant manly screaming, I suppose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yes, like, ah, ah yes. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just like in the back of the throat, sort of screaming. Um, yep. And I will recount uh, all of that to Crow, who I'm sure is like, tonight is the night of screaming, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. Now is the time on Blades in the Dark when we scream. When we scream. Uh, <laughs> yes. And okay. now it is time for screaming. <laughs> yeah right uh okay i don't understand what most of that means but you're screaming and it's terrifying uh so now compose, what compose himself and be like the important parts are that this was a demon who appears to have previously had a relationship with lady anne yeah spirit warden knew about it uh the demon also had followers and that while they're vague, 
are more leads. So when we say relationship, like, are we talking they work together or bitch was a demon fucker? Like, where are we going with this? I don't know. <laughs> Do I know whether or not this was a working relationship <laughs> or a working relationship? No. Look, no, you're if not sure. someone's going to ask this question, it's going to be Crow because they have no social graces whatsoever. Also, to be fair, he was thinking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and she's not here to ask. Right. Yeah. Uh, cool. So possibly that. Possibly that. I'm not going to uh, faster. Followers. Followers yeah. seems like a complication. A little bit worried about that. Maybe we don't want to hang out here any longer than we need to. Especially now that I broke the lock on the front door. Um, so they could come parading back in. Well, that was, any... that was at her office. So oh, you're at right. her house Sorry, now. I'm... Which the, the front door's the front door's lock has already been broken by oh, your crew well, once that's before. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, the door does not lock, so maybe we don't want to hang out there. Uh, yeah. This is... lingering here seems like a terrible idea. And yeah. Go. Um. Before I guess before we go, um, to look around mundanely rather than. Uh, waving a pentagram all over the place. <laughs> uh, that's survey? Yes? yes. No? Okay. Yeah. So if I wanted to go, like, look for clues, like I got my little notebook and blue paw prints, um, <laughs> that would be survey, right? Yeah. So might as well do that while we're here. Sure. See if I could pick up anything else. Yes. I'm gonna, so can, if you, if you roll well, I will just yell a clue, a clue. <laughs> Controlled. Yes. Okay. No clues. <laughs> no clues. No uh, clues. In it fact, was worth a try. In fact, you you have just dis- like destroyed any physical evidence that might have been uh, helpful. Thank you very much. I'm Crow. I'll be here all week. <laughs> knocking over like a whole inkwell thing inks yeah. all over the desk now all the papers are destroyed i'm the best let's go, yeah, let's go. Um, jack is just looking at that like we should go <laughs> we should, we should, we should go. completely we demolished all the paperwork on the desk it's yes. great it's well great. on the upside no one else is going to find out what happened that's i suppose we can call that an upside sure um, I'm going to call it an upside. Let's go. Otherwise, I'm going to kill you. So let's go. (laughs) Let's go. Love you. Bye. (laughs) Uh, Excellent. So uh, great. Um, So at this point, um, you you do have information uh, that you could bring to Lord Penderin. Uh, and get your payment for this job (laughs) let's do that let's get paid yep let's go do that let's go get a money yeah one money maybe one money please please give us multiple monies all the monies that we are owed yeah well i think he was offering four was what beige had uh yes four money so uh so you get back to him what all are you going to tell him uh, gonna let uh, Devil Jack take the lead on that one because, as noted, social graces zero. Right. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm just gonna tell Lord Penderin that, you know, there was some spirit warden because it's not like I can blame the wrong guy. Sure. Yeah. Um, like that there was a spirit warden who was involved in this. Um, I'll ex- Lord Pendergon does not seem like the kind of guy who's going to be freaked out if I'm like, I gazed into the void and it gave me an answer. <laughs> uh, so like, I'll tell him that I right. looked into this the the spirit cognition and saw through the whatevers and that yep. like I realized that there was a spirit warden who was trying to stop her connection to this demon. What does he know about that? Okay. And it's not accusatory. He's just like, this is what happened. What do you know? Right. Um, so uh, Lord Penderin will seem a little, you know, shocked uh, and maybe even a little um, 
surprised to find out that she had some kind of working relationship with a demon. Um, you know, he knew that she was studying them, but she didn't know that she had actually been in contact necessarily with mm-hmm. one. Uh, right. So this is this is news to him, okay. and he's not he's not particularly thrilled by this news. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. well, we uh, we didn't promise him we were going to come back with good news. Right. That is we said, true. We said we'd get answers. Yep. We got answers. Yeah, you got answers. It's not you don't have to like you, them. Yeah, you don't have to like them. But... Uh, yeah, so he says, I am un... I, I am... I don't, he's just, I don't know what to do about this. Your, you have uncovered troubling news. It's very troubling. Yep. So. At this point, I'm just trying to put together connections to figure out if we can solve the mystery of her murder. Right, yeah. And. He he seems to think, you know, uh, that maybe <sighs> essentially he he thinks that you know solving her murder would will be you know he wants to solve her murder as well. So if you right. are willing to do this, he would be willing to pay you extra or again um to find out who killed her but he also warns you that if if it has to do with the spirit wardens it may not be worth investigating what do you mean by that um spirit wardens are very secretive and for good reason if it came out that members of their order were murdering people because of the knowledge they have as spirit wardens. It could be devastating. Mm. So I even if point. you so even if you do solve this murder, it's not anything that we could tell anyone. I hear you. But I think we might do it anyway. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, that's real. Yeah. Yep. I hear you. But um... <laughs> when I say that, I also had a character. I mean, like, I'm not going to pursue that without the rest of the party. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, if he is willing to pay us to pursue it, I'm going to happily accept that quest and put it up on our list of things to do later. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean he's he's willing to pay to find to get to the bottom of it. He also asked you what happened to her. He's like, I, I told you to follow her, I meant bring her back. Oh. She um screamed and disappeared into the ether and I couldn't follow her there. Okay. Well, um <laughs> maybe now that she's not trapped in the, the strange device she made, um maybe we'll be able to find her and and bring her to us. How well we can certainly try. Okay. We can yeah. try. He says, he says I, I will I will attempt later to do this All thing. Right. It is it not on you. Uh you as as promised, you released her from the box and I was able to talk to her. And you have get, given me far more information than I would have gathered from her on my own. So. Cool. All right. All right. <clears throat> four so, monies, please. Yes, four monies. <laughs> four monies, please. <laughs> yes. Um, and you're, you can put up to two more coins in the, on the crew sheet. Um, you have enough reputation right now to where if you pay eight coins, you could... Uh, increase your crew tier 
I don't know if between the two of you, what you have on your sheet plus the four on the crew uh, sheet uh. is enough. I don't know what I have on my sheet. Uh, I don't know. I don't actually have. I don't think I have money. Oh, there it is. Uh, I have. I think one from last time. So. Okay. I actually don't think I have any money. Okay. <laughs> no, I have no money. Okay. So each of you can grab one so that it'll so that you don't like lose right. coins. Yeah. Um. And maybe next time there will be enough coins to increase the crew reputation. Uh, okay. The crew tier. Yeah. I, th I think I had two last time and I spent one yeah. uh, to heal I think the so. whole way. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. All right. So let's do some downtime. Cool. All right. Uh, thankfully, you guys didn't have a very, a very loud mission. No. Fortunately. Uh, fortunately. No. Uh, so uh, we, you mean we didn't set whole buildings on fire? No. Um, nope. So, uh, so he paid you four coin, and yeah. there wasn't really an opportunity for you to steal uh, additional coins. Um, no. But Crow does have a uh, quality, or I guess a fine, uh, lightning hook. So is that under arcane implements? Um, you could just note it in your notes. Okay. Uh, because the lightning hook is essentially what you use to like grab and hold on to ghosts. One fine lightning hook. That's one fine lightning hook. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so for your heat, um, I'm going to say uh, that you're only going to get one heat. Uh, and just because that the 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 thing that you were doing is pretty high profile, right? Okay. And just digging into that at all. Where the hecking heck is that on the sheet? Uh, it's on the crew crew sheet. Oh, okay. Which I thank you. Yeah, and I'm I'm right. kind of marking that up uh, a little bit for you guys. So okay, thank you. I have I, I don't show. I thought I had this. GM sheet showed to players, but it is unsure. But. Um, if, when you pull up the GM sheet, if you click on the second tab that says character sheet, it'll show um the crew. Yeah, which is what I'm like keeping track of on the yeah for the crew. So yep. Okay, and then uh okay, so now we're gonna do entanglements. All right. Cool. So who wants to? roll for that you're rolling your wanted level which is still zero which is nice okay uh uh where is the button for that um i think it's just a like a fortune roll okay roll fortune all right um how many dice zero right one two zero two, two lower zero well, okay. yeah, zero, it'll it'll roll two and take the lower. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Um, <laughs> All right. Look at that. Cool. Look cool. at that. For once. Cool. 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 I was just trying to figure out how to do it, and then I actually did it. And, uh, yeah. You rolled so real I, well. So I guess we could keep that. I mean, yeah. I guess. I was trying to figure out the commands, and, and then it worked. Cool. All right. I, thought, I figured you were doing it for us, so go for it. Okay. Well, so... yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right. So a show of force. A faction with whom you have negative status makes a play against your holdings. <clears throat> Give them one claim or go to war. Uh, and that's uh... definitely going to be the Red Sashes. Because you made a play against their, their turf. Uh, and so they're trying to make a, a, a play against your turf. So either you give up one of the claims that you've taken or you go to war with them. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, so going to war, um, gives us one downtime activity and something else. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Is it on your faction? Okay. Uh, you lose one hold temporarily while the war persists, which may knock us down a tier. Um, but we're already sort of, we're already at the ground level, so. 
Yeah. yeah. We gain plus one heat from each score, um, and we get half our coin. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'll go to war, but like, it's the two of us making this decision for everyone. Uh, I mean, right. we could table that decision. Yeah. Um, that's really my only concern is that like, that seems like a, a big decision for two of us to be making. Let me make a note that, uh, so I'm going to say that when we come back, we need to decide. Uh, if we're at war or not. Yeah. How to, how to deal with this show of force. Right. Yeah, because I I also would be like, go to war. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, I mean, right. that's my inclination, but I don't, yeah, you don't want to speak for I also don't want to make that decision without the, the rest of the Yeah, and then, like, you know, everybody comes back, we're like, by the way, we started right. a war. We started yeah, a war yeah, with red sashes. <laughs> Whenever you guys leave and one of the other people is stuck with Devil Jack, we either rack up a ton of heat or we go to war. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not his fault. So what I hear is... Devil Jack is a war hawk and uh, secretly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am the violence member of the party. Yes. It's true. It is very true. All right. It's true. Um, so now you guys could do downtimes. Uh, so on downtime, you can roll uh, your tier, which is zero, uh, and then subtract your heat from the result and see how many coins you get, which may be zero, but it's worth rolling. All right, I'll roll it. And say you can roll that one. All right. Because I did so well on the last one. Uh, that's that's a one, because it's a two, take yeah, a lower, that's, right? That's a one, so yeah. you get Oof. you get zero coin. Um, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Uh, so there was, I'd like to point out that there was a six there. It just doesn't count. It just I know. doesn't count. It's okay. <laughs> If you get more coin, you can increase your tier, and that roll will get better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, that was ju just for the Monica rolls sixes thing. I just yeah. just would like to point just, out that there yes. is in fact a six there. <laughs> yeah, it's just a useless six. <laughs> it's just useless. Okay. Um, so now we can do our downtimes. Uh, so you get two. You could spend coin to take an extra downtime or to increase a result level on uh, on a roll if you want. Um, so Mon uh, Monica, do you know what you want to do for Devil Jack? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I'm on my crew sheet. I was like, where's my stress? <laughs> Not on the crew sheet. No. Uh, yeah, I'm going to indulge my vice. Okay. Um, and, uh, I go see, what's her name? Ila, Ila Sila. Yes. Ila Seal. I'm not sure how you would pronounce that. Uh, to like scourge myself and like ritually do some are, sort of ritual purification are as you, my are vice you, is faith. Are you a church of It ecstasy? seems weird to say my vice is faith. <laughs> no, but... it really doesn't. It okay. Really doesn't. I'm okay. I'm totally there with you. Yeah. It's more like a like a like a ritual purification yeah. kind of thing. Oh, no, it yeah. makes perfect Stress. sense. Yeah. 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 I think that people have a vice of faith. <laughs> I think people can have a vice of faith. I think, sure. I think people can have that. Yeah, <clears throat> especially you go to the is... temple of forgotten gods, so you like, yeah. you're like doing weird shit in there. Yeah, to I don't necessarily think that Devil Jack's relationship with this weird faith is vice like, but it is certainly how he lets off stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I roll the lowest of my attributes. Yes, this, right. Okay. No bonus dice. And I'm at six, so this can't possibly go wrong. Good. Cool. Right, then I'll clean off. Holy this. sh. <laughs> okay. All right. That clears out three stress. Yeah. Come on. Go away. All right. Well, fine. Oh, you, you have to press the X. Sheet. You have to press the X and then fill in. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. I got it. It's yeah. It's fixed. All right, cool. That's my first action. Yeah, removing, um, rem or like click the one next to it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I got it. I, I had six stress. I removed, I have three. Okay. Um, then I'm going to, um, I'm going to go hang out with, uh, what's his name? That's my What's dancer. her name? Saw Sawtooth, the physicer. Oh, yes. Um, to give me something, to give me some sort of tonic for my shot nerves. Okay. Um, which is. Given the time period this is based on, probably just like 
some alcohol that they put laudanum. heroin in and laudanum. shook it up. Yes, <laughs> fucking laudanum. <laughs> fucking laudanum. I got the right. I got the bad nerves. Here, have some laudanum. Here, have some laudanum. You will never wake up again. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go get some laudanum for my cool. nerves. Heal. Uh, also, cocaine is a cure all. Yes. During that time period. Um, it is to take care of the problems from the heroin, uh, <laughs> right. from the opiates. Yes. Um, no, no, really, that's what that was for. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so what, what am I rolling for this to heal? Uh, it is just, um, do, 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 do. uh, you, she's going to roll tinker. Oh, okay. Um, sawtooth is, so I guess I'll just have. Somebody who has. There. <laughs> okay. All right. So what do I fill a one. one in my progress clock? Yes, a one. All right. There. All right. All right. Uh, and now Crow. For Spider, do you, so Spider, do you have uh, a list of the downtimes? Do you want me to tell you what they are? I can't hear you. I think you're... Do you have your mic muted by accident? Oh. Hello? Yep, there we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is not my headset either. So... <laughs> it's okay. Uh, um. So uh, what was yeah, the answer? I <laughs> yes, I would like to know what the things are okay. that I can do. I think I know what I'm going to do, but let's. Okay, so you can indulge your vice to uh, release, uh, re relieve stress, essentially. Right. You can train in a, in one of your attributes to mark an XP. Uh, okay. You can reduce heat for the crew. Uh, you can recover if you have damage, which you don't have any. Uh, you can work on a long-term project, so you can start working on a cool thing that you want to make or something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, or you could acquire an asset. An asset will be temporary, so it'll be like useful for your next job, and then right. you won't have it anymore. Um. <sighs> hmm. For well, I I'm not sure. Like, we don't have any. Do we have heat right now? Yeah, we have. You have four heat. Uh. Well, why don't we do that? Because we have more. How? Yeah. Let's see what would be entailed in that at the okay. very least. So I might make it worse. Uh, no, you won't make it worse. You'll essentially, just like the healing clock, you'll... Uh, right. So you're going to say, hey, whatever action you're going to take right. to, to, to reduce the heat, you're going to tell me what you're going to do, and then you'll roll okay. that action, and then uh, you'll either reduce it by one, two, or three, or five if you crit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So what action would would that's what I'm trying to try to think of what I could do to like make things better when I suck at social stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's try to not do that because I just kind of feel like I, I, I don't know what I would even do for that. Let's go and uh, indulge vice and try to clear out the little stress that um, Crow does have. OK. Just beware if you overindulge. Oh, I, I've heard. This is the first, <laughs> this is the first time. So that I've actually had Crow do that. So I think that should not be too bad. I hope. Okay. I don't know. We'll so find you're going to roll your lowest of your attributes. Okay. All right. Uh, and the, so, okay. So you roll one. So you reduce one stress. Okay. Is All right. I think you spent one stress this game, so exactly. Yeah, yeah you know, comes out in the wash. And I, I, I still have one, okay. so Whew. you know, Whew. that was risky. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can do one more thing. Um, I mean, you could just train if you don't want to worry. I about think so. Heat. Okay, so yeah, you just mark an XP do. in one of your attributes or your playbook if you want. Uh, if you mark it in uh, prowess, you'll get two. Okay, so I'll do that, actually. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, so that's downtimes and stuff. Um, so is there anything that you guys want to take a look at or uh, 
kind of talk about before we oh. mm, no i think we're like i mean pretty much the only thing is like we're gonna have to talk about um the war thing with everybody else sure that's, sure that's not something that we can solve now so no. uh yeah not <laughs> crow's just gonna be drooling over their new toy and you know yes trying to figure it out that's basically you know oh yeah cool the nerd the nerd in you <laughs> oh yeah all right so I think that's it then for XP. tonight. Oh, XP. Derp. Gosh. Derp, derp, derp. I would like some of that. Yes, you get yeah. XP for being here and doing the things. All right, let me grab up your sheets. All right, so Devil Jack gets XP for... Expressing his beliefs drives heritage or background. Um, I got to be all the, the... Yeah, you definitely did that. Definitely did that. Um, did you struggle? And- did you struggle with issues from your vice or trauma during the session? Nah. nah. I didn't address any challenges with violence. We didn't fight anyone, but I did, did do it co- attempt to intimidate coercion. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so I'll mark an XP for that. Yes. Cool. Yeah. So you got I'm good. two XP from this. Yeah, and two from rolling a <laughs> desperate command rolls. Yes. Excellent. Yep. All right, Crow. So uh, I definitely, I, I would argue twice, addressed a challenge with technical skill or mayhem. Uh, I, 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 will, I will agree. <laughs> so I two XP there in the playbook. And I believe Strive's heritage are back. I mean, arguably stealing shit is that's shiny uh, i already got xp for that yeah so, but other than that i think i'm pretty much good drives heritage or background okay uh, eh, eh, eh. Eh. and then i already had xp for the desperate roles and yeah. i marked that as we were going okay good excellent all right uh so and then i'm gonna go ahead and mark xp on uh spitz sheet because even though spit wasn't here right she struggled because of her vice <laughs> that's fair <laughs> yeah uh which is she wasn't here <laughs> yes because of her vice yep oh, so she'll get an xp for that all right um <clears throat> so and then for the crew the crew's xp um so smuggling, acquiring a new client, or contraband resources, no. A contend with challenges above your current station, yes. <laughs> um, bolster your crew's reputation, uh, no. Express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew. I'm going to say yes, because essentially you're digging into somebody's dirty secrets, which mm-hmm. is kind of what the post is all about. Um, yeah. So crew will get two xp for for this yay cool all right so very close to leveling up the crew sweet and getting the new tier and all of this stuff so close all right so i uh, that's it for us uh thank you for our viewers for watching and enjoying the show with us Sorry for the break in the middle, uh, especially if you're watching on YouTube <laughs> later. <laughs> Apologize for that. Otherwise, uh, thank you, everyone, and have a good night. Yeah, thank you. Good night. See you next time. <laughs>